In the last class, we were getting a perspective of Rustam with respect to orthographic and perspective projections. In this class, we are going to dive into depth. To understand depth, consider a chair that's behind a trolley bag or a paper on top of a chair. The portion of the chair that's behind the paper or the trolley bag will not be visible and hence doesn't need to be rendered. The structure we use to record the depth of different objects to check which object is in front of the other object is called depth buffer. The depth buffer has values ranging from 0.0, .0 to 1.0 for all pixels on the computer screen. 0.0, .0 represents the near plane corresponding to the objects that are closest to the camera and 1.0 represents the far plane which relates to the objects that are farthest in the scene from the eye view. So an object X which is in front of an object Y will have a smaller value of depth versus Y in the range 0 to 1. Before you receive any objects to render, all values in the depth buffer are initialized to 1, setting them as farthest in the scene. In a previous tutorial on introduction to coordinate geometry, objects are shown to be built from multiple triangles. Depth corresponds to C coordinates of vertices of triangles. Let's consider a triangle from the upper left half of the chair as shown here. Imagine a rectangle covering that triangle with its sides parallel to the length and breadth of the computer screen. For sake of simplicity, assume all vertices of the triangle have a depth value of 0.8 corresponding to their C coordinates. So this triangle passes the depth testing and corresponding locations in the depth buffer are marked as 0.8. These locations map to the imaginary rectangle covering the triangle. Depth test pass means this chair triangle will continue through further steps of rendering. Now comes a triangle from the trolley back towards its bottom, which doesn't overlap with any portion of the chair. So this triangle also passes depth testing similar to the previous one and the respective locations in depth buffer are marked with its depth value of 0.5. Let's consider a triangle from the chair that overlaps with the trolley back towards the middle of the scene as shown. Since this triangle is the one to reach depth testing first, it passes depth test and mapping locations in depth buffer are marked as 0.8. And here comes a triangle from the trolley bag which overlaps with the previous triangle from the chair towards the middle of the scene. Note that the depth of the trolley triangle is 0.5 and less than the 0.8 depth of the chair triangle. So it passes the depth test and mapping locations in depth buffer are overwritten with its depth value of 0.5. On the other hand, assume the same trolley triangle came for depth testing before the middle scene chair triangle. 
it passes depth test and the depth buffer locations are marked as 0.5. Since the chair triangle came for depth testing after the overlapping trolley triangle, it fails depth test as its depth is 0.8 and higher than trolley triangles 0.5. The chair triangle is discarded from further rendering. In the next class, we'll see stencil, as in the stencil used by many of you when you were kids, and face culling.